Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh. We're about to get something to eat. You can join us. Are you gonna pay for me? I 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 smell good. Do I smell good? All right, gentlemen, this is part three of the street interviews, which took place in Wynwood, Miami. Wynwood is an art district. This is where graffiti, a bunch of bars, restaurants, um, clubs, you know, just the outdoor scenery. People walk around, people typically go on dates there. People hang out with their homies. People pick up girls, girls pick up guys. Like it's just so much going on. And it's a more younger, uh, more urban Hispanic crowd in comparison to South Beach and Brick. Um, and Wynwood is one of my favorite spots. And before I even get started, gentlemen, please do not forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to my page if you haven't done so yet. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell. Anyways, I want you guys to take a look at their body language. I want you to pay attention to how they respond to certain questions. And then there will be certain women where I kind of call them out on their BS. And I want you to pay attention. Y'all will know which woman that i'm referring to but make sure you guys watch the video closely as you pay attention to what they say tune in what are two calls you look for in a man kindness <laughs> can you just cut that i don't want to uh -uh. kindness and what else i know you want a leader you want to on it say it Honesty and trustworthy. <laughs> honesty, honesty, honesty. What else? Honesty and trustworthy. Trustworthy. Like, honesty is, and you also have to smell good. Do I smell good? What are two important qualities you look for in a man? Um, hardworking, motivated. Motivating. And what? Motivating. Can you elaborate? Yeah, motivated, hardworking, wants to accomplish things, good things, wants to do good with his life. I'm not necessarily talking about making a lot of money, but like hardworking, you feel me? So a man with a plan, a man that has ambition, driven. a man, a yeah, man yeah, yeah. Driven. driven. So yeah. a man could be completely broke with the fact that He's he As long plan. as I see action. Because mm. you could talk about it, but you can't, if you don't do shit, I, I'm action. not worried about it. So he has to be about it. It has to be action, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because a lot of guys have plans and they Yeah, they got plans and then like, they go to sleep potential. and they forgot about their plans and then but they then wake I, up and then they don't do shit. Right. Right. I appreciate you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh. All right. Two important qualities you look for in a man. Communication and interest. He has to be able to speak his mind and say what he needs to say. Like, I'm not a mind reader. Okay. I can't I can't predict what you're thinking in your head. You have to communicate. You have to tell me what's on your mind. And also, he has to show interest. Like, you got your hair done. You changed your makeup routine. You're wearing new outfits. Like, I'm showing interest in you boo like I'm I'm watching you so for example if he were to notice your new lashes or your new nails that yes. would make you feel good yes interesting like the nails no I don't have no nails I I'm not natural <laughs> I appreciate y'all so what are two qualities you look for in a man honesty so many and just like a calm spirit, like a leader. What about a leader? Should you like leader? Is good. Leader? I like that. Good hygiene. Great hygiene. Tall, tall, short. What do you look? Ah, uh, that physical stuff can come. It's what's in here. So you did a guy that's short. Oh yeah. Little, you hesitate. Look, edit that out. Edit that out. There you go. Okay. <laughs> look, look, check this out. We're trying to eat some. We, we gotta get one more. We don't want to be on YouTube though. We don't want to be on YouTube. Yeah, I need some conversation if I'm gonna be online, bro. This is good conversation. I'm sorry. Look, check I'm this out. I'm hungry as fuck. I can't be. We're about to get something to eat. You can join us. Are you, are you gonna pay for me? 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 Eat. Yeah. That's not a restaurant. Is that a restaurant? No, no, no. That's not a restaurant. No. I'm messing. <laughs> What's your name? Denise. Denise. I'm Joel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where you from? Mexico. Oh, you live in Mexico? No, I live here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but you're from Mexico? Yes. So did you grow up in Miami or you grew up in Mexico? Mexico. Okay. Yes. Nice. And what is you? Oh, okay. Oh. What is your name? I'm Sadika. Sadika? Yes. And where are you from? New Jersey. New Jersey? Yes. What part of New Jersey? Uh, Central Jersey. Central, that's like uh, Jersey Shore? Um, no, Freehold. Where? 
Freehold. Freehold. Oh, yeah. and what is what is that known for? Um, that's for the raceway. We okay. have a big raceway there. Really? Yeah. Uh, and do you live in Miami? Yes. Okay. How long you lived in Miami? Um, a long time ago. A long time. Long time. Yeah. Uh. yeah what are two qualities you look for, the man? Um, loyalty. Oh, my bad. Say that one more time. <laughs> loyalty. And what else? Um, a man that has to drive. You smell really good. Oh, thank you. What do you got on? Um, I can't remember now. <laughs> oh, well, it smells really good. Thank I literally you. forgot the whole conversation. <laughs> Thank you. You have a good one. So what? Are, Ask how much we make? No, or, no. Okay. <laughs> what are two important qualities you look for in a man? Hello. Why are you turning your back? Because he's already recording. Two important qualities: um, humor and loyalty. Loyalty. I hear that a lot. What do you mean by loyalty? Like, what do you mean by that? You're honest. Ask like a man who doesn't know what it means. I, 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 I. No, I hear it a lot, yikes. but I just want to, I want you I mean, to. You're like, honest and you're true to your word. Okay, so being faithful is important. Yes, definitely. Uh, what about leadership? What do you think about leadership? I mean, that's cool. Okay. That's all right, so German, I'll be transparent with you all. Winwood was a lot easier. I would say two things. Why it was easier, to, the, the conversion rate was a lot easier. Number one, um, this is our third street interview. So now we've gotten accustomed to the street interview style. We're still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still getting better. Um, learning the nuances and the science when it comes to the body language, trying to get an interview, trying to make them feel comfortable, the approach, you know, the whole nine. You know, some a lot of them were down to interview, but a lot of cock locking friends. That's one of the things I can't stand about girl groups is the cock blocking friends. It's always that one friend that wants to talk to you or want, you know, interview you or whatever it is. And it's always that one friend like, come on, girl, let's leave. He's this. He's that. I don't mind going to interview. Blah, blah, blah. But what's funny is the ones that gave the attitude were the ones that I did not want to interview. You know what I mean? So I got what I wanted. And that and them girls that didn't want to get interviewed, that's that's on them. Because, girl, I did not want to interview you. You wasn't. You were not all that. That's all I gotta say. And y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyways, gentlemen, I want y'all to pay attention to the, their body language. A lot of times, gentlemen, what they what they say they want, and then based off the decisions and their body language and what decisions they make and the choices and men that they make, typically don't correlate. You see, often women say, I want a man that's trustworthy. I want a man that's, that has integrity. He's honest, he's sweet. But then you see the kind of guy that they choose and they're the complete opposite. And then a lot of times they're like, no, well, I just made a mistake, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of like, yo, you say you want one thing, but your actions, your actions, your decisions and your choices don't match it. So gentlemen, you have to watch what a woman does and not listen to some of the things she says. It typically never matches. And honestly, the women that I personally know that say what they want and then they choose the guy that they say that they want i respect that but most cases gentlemen they often choose guys that they say they often choose the guy that they want but who they want doesn't correlate with what they say i want a sweet nice man no they don't they just want somebody who's confident who got his bag right who has charisma a man that's is a man with a plan doesn't have to be nice all right there's nice sweet stuff certain girls like it but based off the body language and some of the conversations i had with some of these women that didn't want to get interviewed a lot of them truly just want a guy who got it a guy who's that dude you know which is the 10 the 10 15 percent one percent type guy that's who they really want or in other words, they like the Pookie and Ray Rays. But that's a different conversation for another day. But anyways, even with some of these interviews, gentlemen, they were it just seemed like BS responses to me. You know, I want a guy that's this and that. And I'm kind of like, no, you don't. And I remember one girl in the video, if you guys remember, um, I asked her, I said, does height, does, does he have to be tall or short? She's like, no, what matters is how he is from the heart. I said, okay, so would you date a guy that's short? And then she's like, uh, I don't know. There you go, right there. I hope y'all caught that part. 
when she was very hesitant she's like i don't know about that that's what i'm saying there's got to be a correlation so my biggest advice for you fellas because i approach so many women and i have conversations with many women in these street interviews and when you do street interviews it gives you a a, a, a you get a strong idea of some of the things that these women say but again, pri my prior videos, I was going based off my experience or what I've experienced with women in my past, and not just that, but what I uh, from data and what um, the common denominator amongst my friends. So those are how I come up with these topics. But with these street interviews, it gives me more of an idea because you're meeting these girls in real time. These are not rehearsed. These are people I'm random people cold approaching that I'm meeting in real life. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have some guts to do street interviews. You gotta have, you know, you gotta have, some, it builds your confidence skills. It builds your, your, um, your ability to code approach women, which I'm fairly good at code approaching, but it makes me even better because I know what, how they're gonna react based on body language, um, proximity area. You gotta pay attention to all those things. It's all a science when it comes to code approaching women. You know what I'm saying? You can't just pull up in an alley and try to talk to a girl. Like it doesn't work like that. But again, your appearance says everything because gentlemen, if I wasn't physically appealing, um, I wouldn't have gotten some of the interviews I've gotten. So I had to make sure I look extremely presentable, look clean, smell good, so um, so I can get some of these interviews. And I'm gonna have more interviews in store for y'all and new questions next week. So I want you all to stay tuned and continue to watch my videos. And again, I post videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for you all great content for y'all and I truly want to help you all um, succeed and be the best version of yourselves. Gentlemen, if you find any value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell and check out my weekly Patreon for more exclusive content. Gentlemen, if you suffer from a porn addiction, book a session with me. We're going to go through the whole nine. I'm going to come with different strategies depending on who you are and ways to help you overcome this terrible, terrible addiction. The last thing you want to do is ruin your marriage. The last thing you want to do is ruin your relationships. The last thing you want to do is ruin your friendships, ruin your relationship with your family, ruin some of the business opportunities, or pretty much ruin any potential opportunity that may come your way because of that addiction. The last thing you want to do is let that addiction take over and ruin your life. I've helped so many dudes out with their addiction. And so many dudes are overcoming right now as we're speaking. So go ahead and book a session and I promise you, I'm going to get you through this thing. Peace. Hope y'all enjoyed this video.